Hey everybody, what's up? Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to change a exhaust pressure sensor for a Yanmar SV100, something like that. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty s simple. It's almost simple. It's not too bad. If you're a backyard mechanic, you'll be able to figure it out. But um, yeah, if you're getting a code for exhaust pressure, and that code is going to be... It's going to be this code right here. 000102.04 uh, It's gonna be freaking out telling you to stop and uh, Yeah, we'll turn that off and get rid of the noise So the first thing you're want, gonna want to do is remove the back panel and that's uh goes up here It's just held on by uh, Three bolts and there are these ones right here There's another one right over there and after you get those off you're going to want to take this um, fuel filter off and just put it down. It's held on by two bolts, which go right here. They're a little bit longer right here. But um, after you get the fuel filter stuff down there, you're gonna want to take, uh, there's gonna be some bolts that are holding the bracket up for the, the back panel. They go up here. There's three of those as well. You'll take those down and then uh, move this whole section off to the side like I did. And uh, the reason I do that is because there is a wire right there, these two little wires, and uh, you can't really disconnect them. I tried to, it goes into the, the air cleaner box back there. And uh, we'll get, we get this pushed over to the side just like that. And then after you do that, you can get back here. And here, let me show it to you. Right there, that's it. Right, right, right there. That's it. That's the pressure sensor. It has a little plug in the back, which you can see I already removed. And uh, it's in there with two Allen keys, or two Allen screws. I already took one of them out. There's another one on the other side, but after you do that, it just pops right up. And uh, when you put the new one in, they, they use O-rings. Here's the part number for anybody that cares. This one is factory direct from Yanmar. But yeah, you can see that it just goes on there. It has O-rings, so you do not want to over-tighten this. Just put it in there until it is in there. And uh, you should be good. Um, this seems to be a part that goes out fairly often. This is our second Yanmar that we have. And the first one went out, and now this one went out. And um, again, this is a SV100. It's probably a plate somewhere with more numbers. Uh, yeah, SV100-2A is the model. So, yeah. All right, now after you get that replaced, you should be able to go into the machine, just turn it on, and the code should be gone. Nice. All right, if this video was helpful for you, or if you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up. We still do thumbs up on videos. We'll see. But uh, feel free to subscribe, and uh, if, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll post more heavy equipment videos or stuff on the Anmars. But uh, check out my Instagram, Pacific Racer. I also stream on Twitch if you care about car stuff, uh, which is also Pacific Racer TV. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.